And all the way out here and I forget my adapter cable. So instead, I've got to do some soldering on the side of the road. Okay, so thanks to everybody uh, for telling me to go get myself a power probe. I'm not sure if this is what you meant, but... <laughs> <laughs> power probe, soldering iron. On, heats up nice and quick. Always make sure to have my solder with me, or solder, depending on where you're from in the world. Got a little bit of flux to help it go by easier. Well, they're wrong if they call it solder. <laughs> oh! oh! Everybody says everything differently everywhere. That's what we all know. Potato. Potato, I said. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Taped it before I could show it. Uh-huh, the sun is beautiful and warm, and here we are on the side of the road. <laughs> What's up, Ev? What up? So Everett and I were traveling along and we came across this giant hill just outside of McLean Creek or generally along McLean Creek in Alberta. Elbow Valley. Elbow Valley area, thank you very much. And we brought our snowmobiles. He and I think that we should have a high marking contest. You guys can't tell, but that hill is 100 feet top to bottom and uh, slick, slick. So I am running these upgraded skis that have weights in them. Also has a skate on the bottom, check it out. These two little skates. I'm hoping this is gonna help give me some grip while I'm climbing. Everett's gonna run the wider skis on his. Notice we got a bumper this time. <laughs> Why? It wasn't me. <laughs> well, caught me red hand. Got it all prepared and ready to go. He's got his body pins in. You didn't turn on the light, so that'll be fun to turn on with oh, the body post. All I had to do was plug it in. Ah, uh, yes. The Inspire One. Is this your first flight? Ever? Or today? <laughs> <laughs> Either one. Now we're all curious. Today? Yes. Yes. Nice, nice. It's quite an awesome, inspiring machine, wouldn't got, you say? Yeah, I got many hours in on this guy now. Yeah. Well, you gotta have good tools, you know, and that way we can get some good aerials for everybody. Doodle doo doo. Super cool. So it's just getting the stabilizer and gyro in place, yeah? Is that why it was tracking like that? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, the camera was moving. Everybody wants to know why was it moving? Is it basically just calibrating or what? Yeah, it's booting up, calibrating. Yep. Getting the gimbal ready to go. Exactly. The DJI Inspire 1. Such an amazing looking machine. This is Everett's. Everett's piloting it right now, what getting it ready. Is? Yeah. Getting it ready for the high marking action. Whoa! <laughs> so cool. Getting in position. Getting ready for the big launch to see who can make it the furthest up the hill. It's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Grab the radio, let's go. So these sleds are from Art Attack Snowmobile.net. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I finally got the kit. We built them up. Uh, un 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 unfortunately, this one is a Tekken. I should have put the castle in here, but this sled came after. The KVs are generally the same. I'm cheating. I have a four cell battery. <laughs> Everett's got a three cell battery. Uh, our pinions are the same but his KV of motor is slightly higher. We do have studs on these tracks, check them out. Six and a quarter, I think that these are, I remember. And everything out here is just straight up ice. Very nice. Hopefully we can get some speed out of these babies today for you. Let's do it, hey? Ready to win. You wanna? <laughs> So you want to go first, which do you want to go up the well-traveled snow path here? It seems like people have been sledding all day. I'm thinking right in the middle. Right in the middle? Yeah, okay, we can do that. In Everett Sled, we're running the uh, AVC from Spectrum. It's just the uh, type of receiver. It's bas basically an automatic vehicle control. They call it an active vehicle control. Uh, just kind of helps keep you straight. We're going to put the drone on a nice hover above us. Probably want to get it fairly close, eh? 
What? Yeah, good call. Now we know the sun is wreaking havoc for you guys, so I'm gonna go towards the bottom of the sled and I'll film shooting towards and then rolling up if he's able. Good luck, brother. May the best man win, me. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. High marking, the fifth scale boss. Rolling in, let's see what he's got. Nice, that thing's ripping. And then he gets to the super steep part. Oh, into the bush. It does have reverse, but those skis hook in, so you gotta be careful, nice job. Woohoo! One red and one white light because that's the only thing I had. It looks good, it's got an evil eye. <laughs> So I gotta make it. Oh. Okay, my turn. Ready. One thing, one thing I hadn't considered is what happens when you get stuck. Right? <laughs> That's but why I stopped when I did. What he said was my tracks are the highest. <laughs> Everett wins. <laughs> oh, it's sketchy up there too. Pure ice. It's not fluffy snow. We've had really warm weather for a couple days. You got this, bro. You can do it. Good luck. Studded. Trying to get some speed. Oh, nice job, man. Oh, look how far it's going. Oh, no. Oh no, oh not bad, not bad. It's on its wheels. In three, two, one. Come back. Right at the gym. Oh, harsh. <laughs> I could use some ice bikes right now. I think going down is a lot worse than going up. Because look at way down there. <laughs> Bonus. Everett gonna give it a rip. Good luck, dude. <laughs> Everything's blue and shadowy. Oh, you didn't make it. Oh, that's what I like about these bodies. They always flip back. Take a second rip at it, bro. Yeah, nice, he's making it, he's making it. Nice job. Oh, you're okay. Ever going to try to nail the jump? <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Good thing you got a bumper. <laughs> yeah. There you go, almost as high as I went. <laughs> conservation officers making sure we're inside the law and we're totally having a good time. She gave us a big thumbs up. You got one more in there for us or what? It's sounding good. That castle system holding out. Dude, so slow. Nice job. Good job. Oh, he's got the record. Oh no. Oh, you did it. Full climb! Oh no! <laughs> well, you're gonna have to go up and get it. <laughs> good job, bro. That was epic. Yeah, you're doing good. So dark. Sorry, guys. It's just the way cameras interpret snow. I'll turn up the exposure. Keep going. You got it. Are you stuck? No, you're good. Good. Keep going. Woohoo! Off and get some aerial? Yeah, well, if you want, man, yeah. <laughs> Good try, though. You're this way. Are you good? Yep. <laughs> Super cool. Right, one more try this, your turn. Oh yeah, brother, let's see you hit it again. So we've decided it's easier just to have a few runs in a row, edit them all together, so we can totally have someone up here in case it flips. Take it slow over the ramp. Nice, yep. Then into the tall crawl. No! Nice, you made it! Yep! Well, green one's done. Down to the, just the red one. <laughs> really? Well, drive mine. Drive the red one. All right. All right. Mine obviously malfunctioned. Everett wins by default. But it's being a good sportsman by giving me a chance with the wide skis. So what he said there was, Everett is the man, his is broken, all hail Everett. <laughs> Let's go. Forget, forget going up the hill. It's coming down, that's the worst. He's got <laughs> his ice. controller, pure ice. <laughs> Me, camera, controller. Okay, so, kinda went for it with Everett sled there. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we had some body damage, figuratively and literally. Um, mine, for some reason, just keeps hopping the track. Uh, the track keeps hopping the idler rollers. That's no big deal. He's gonna slip behind me. Uh, I'll just rebuild those, get some new ones. It comes from running it on not enough snow. Kind of grinds down the plastic, but ooh, body damage. What? <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. That's okay. A little bondic will help with that. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Woo! 
Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the whole body ripped in half. Not good. <laughs> oh. oh, that happens. Yeah, that's a fatality. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on in the bottom? Well, looks, it looks like, like the this idler snapped off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The idler straight through. That's okay. It's a quick fix when I get the parts back, but we are ending. That's quite the move. I wonder what the X Games would call that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Well, that's okay. It's looking better. We can get it fixed up. The bumper, I'm glad it was there. I'll have to check the whole chassis. It flew way further than I thought it was going to off of that jump, and it was awesome. Yeah, I had the camera a little zoom, so it was hard to catch it. That's okay, we got and, it. and we didn't have the aerial going on, but we gotta be safe as well, right? So this one will get fixed. We'll get the other one fixed. It's been kind of thawing out around here anyway. Yeah. You know, we need some, some good snow. It's not, yeah, it's, it's really fluffy. No, it's straight <laughs> ice. And, and my skis, you know what? I gotta give it to you, buddy. You won this round. Thank you, man. By default, you totally win. It was... I did call it on the drive out. Yeah, you did actually. <laughs> and notice how I said by default. It has nothing to do by with default. my my skill. <laughs> but, uh, you you know, did it. Always reigning champ. Yep, that's red all. With the red. Nice. Uh, nice. And so I, I see you're wearing mean. a Calgary Flames jacket. Go Flames, go. Are they a champ? Well. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whoop, whoop. That was fun. Mine's ready to go get fixed up here. Look at there's what kept happening to mine. Oh. Mine keeps That's jumping the track. Hear. Yeah, he's loud, hey. Whoa. <laughs> so cool how these things land. Landing gear down. Yeah, Everett's had this machine for a long time. He's been through some ups and downs with it, that's for sure. Nice job. Great landing, pal. Thanks, bud. Okay, so back over here, we can see the idler. These rollers, hey, something snapped in there. And I did have to fix, here, I'll get it to the light. I did have to fix uh, where these shocks go on because, granted, I've jumped it, I've jumped it, I've jumped it over and over and over again. And unfortunately, I snapped that area, so I had to put a screw in right there. So everything's kind of wonky. I'm gonna have to replace the whole track system. Back here, this idler wheel, basically, because I've run it on not enough snow, it just kind of wears down the plastic and it allows it to start slipping and jumping off. Plus, check out the play I have in here, just from repeated use over and over and over. But hopefully, you guys, we got some good footage for you today, give you some good ideas to do with your snowmobiles if you end up getting one. I'm gonna keep on working the bugs out of this one. I certainly do like these skis. I bet you they're great on ice just like this, but for a hill climb, I'm going back to the wide skis. Everett! He's hiding. Did you have a good time, brother? Best time. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming out to race snowmobiles. Thank you have a blast. Guys, thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Get outside and have fun with the radio control hobby. Bye!